Hello folks. Today we're going to show you what you can do where everybody else says you can't do. This is a mobile home and uh, used to have a uh, Formica actually and then there were some sticker stuff and we took all that off. But what we're going to do is put what you would see a backsplash on a fancy house and we're going to do it on a mobile home just the same. So we're going to be an American, not American. Okay, on this same project, used to be a built-in uh, medicine cabinet. They don't have the money to, to upgrade, but we went and took that out. And the lighting in here is really, really bad. Um, so what I wanted to do for a budget is take this light and put it into a nice, nicer looking uh, decorative light, which light I may have to move. But not only that, I wanted to add a light here and then a light inside the walk-in shower that we did. So I wanted to do these things to on a budget because they can't afford a whole lot of money. Uh, so again, you're going to see us make these improvements and I've just explained it. We'll end up putting this back and uh, we'll have a better looking light. You know, we could get real fancy and just totally rearrange all this. Uh, we've already upgraded the cabinets and and put in a better toilet. Eventually we'll do a better floor, but it, as they can afford it. And as you can afford it if you're doing it on your project. I just want you to know where people say, oh, we can't work on mobile homes uh, because it just, you can't do those things. The plumbing is the same, the electrical is the same. Uh, it's just lower grade of quality. And we're gonna make it better, and you can make it better at your place. All right, what we're doing is working with a, a tile for backsplash and uh, what I like to do generally is cut the tile in the middle or in the side here so that I don't have a lot of complications when it comes to going around a corner. In this case uh, it literally falls out where that row will, will go over the top so if I cut this through I will just leave this section out and then I'll have both sides to start with. And I know that sounds real complex, but we'll do another part where I'll show you literally me putting it in. We're going to go outside and cut it. Okay, in this case, I have a, a cheapy saw because I don't do this all the time. Sometimes I do a whole lot of it at one time. But I also have like four of the little ones. So you can do this at home with little ones. Uh, it gets to be a journey holding this together. So if you're done with the little ones, Go ahead and leave the plastic on there if you can, because uh, this can get... Also, you want to try to make sure your eyes are protected, and uh, that in this case, whenever you're using these saws, any ceramic tile saw, make sure you got water. The little hand saws that you roll and break, uh, pretty tough to do with this stuff, especially when it has the aluminum strips in it. Uh, this doesn't, so I'm just going to crank it up and I'm going to cut it through. Probably inside. Yeah. All right. I should be wearing eye protection. I'm not. Professional, that's all they do, ceramic tile guys are probably having to fit. Oh, he's not doing this and he's not doing that. But what I'm showing you that you're working on your own house, you can do this stuff without tearing out all the drywall and putting in studs so that you can fasten concrete board. I'm showing you how to do this on a budget, okay? Believe me, I know how to do it the fancy way. I know how to center and all those things. But people in on a budget are not going to be able to afford all that and it's just going to be overwhelming. What I'm going to show you is how to do this at home without all that. So all you other guys that are professional ceramic tile guys, settle down, let these people do their make their house better. So now we're going to use a very inexpensive, I could have got a real cheap, from the inexpensive handle, da da da. This one actually does quarter inch hand, three sixteenths, but and I'm not going to show you the brand because nobody's paying me to do this. So here we go, we're going to take a little bit of this. Put it on the wall. 
I'm going to get all the way in there so it's real secure. Get all the way down to the bottom. That those grooves. So Uh, whenever you're getting into it, this particular surface is pretty easy to clean. But if you got a surface that's like this and you want to make sure you protect it really, really well, you can use Pam or some other kind of spray oil on this area where you're going to don't want things to stick, like a window or uh, anything else that's slick. You can just put that Pam on there and this stuff will just come right off. Alright, so now we're getting ready to start a very complex area, which is right here. Good to have a bucket around so you can keep cleaning. In this case, we have a bit of a sink, but I don't really like to see. Uh, so anyway, we're going to wipe all this down with sponges, just a little bit, make sure everything is pushed solid in. I want to make sure they'll get those grooves cleaned out. Okay, now, I love it hanging. Okay, we got that corner cut over this. There's a start. Uh, I'm going to keep cleaning up, getting all those grooves cleaned up inside here so the grout won't have a different color sticking out, which we'll do. And then we'll get back with you. But one thing I should note is that we had loose drywall around the frame here and we put screws in so it wouldn't move. We don't want any of that movement. And uh, we nailed down all the staples and nails and things by running a hammer over it and then finding it and hammering it down. Uh, and then again, we'll show you as we go across for the lighting. But there's the start of the corner. And we start moving across back and forth. Long day, but uh, we've got it up to the point where you got to put grout in it. Uh, and put trim around the windows that they had which can be upgraded to some kind of furniture. Uh, we put the medicine cabinet back in and the light I'll have to take back down. We added lights. Both here and over the shower. By feeding it over, we actually had to open up the ceiling right there and then put a piece of wood up there and put it back up and I'll have to seal that up. Make it look a little better than that. But we had to feed a wire over to here and then over there. All that's LED, uh, including the light picture. A big boy of an LED. And uh, again, this is all on a mobile home, but obviously we can't do it. Yeah. Hey, love the ceramic tile uh, slash glasses on the walls uh, of this mobile home. And uh, we haven't spent a fortune on it, we haven't spent quite a bit of money. And uh, we're putting the unsanded grout in the cracks up. I know again um, some ceramic tongue are like, oh you're using a finishing knife. 
but you can actually use uh, anything flat. You can use a spatula for that matter if you're really good with a spatula. Yeah, I recommend that. But this is not a, a, a video about how to do ceramic tile. This is a video about how you can do these things in mobile homes. So we'll show you a little bit later uh, what other things we're going to be doing in this situation and what the finished product will look like. Okay, finished product, uh, not as fancy as a big fancy house, but it's a little, little place. I would have done a more detailed thing about how to do ceramic tile. This is more about me showing you, even in the smallest of places, you can actually do the nice stuff to have in fancy houses. So you can, you're an American, not an American.